Hi guys, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and I'm uh, going to do a video tonight for uh, the Thrift or Treat Halloween Haul um, collaboration with Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Company. Um, she asked everybody to thrift uh, Halloween and fall related items, um, so I'm going to show you what I got. I have a couple things that I forgot to show you from my last video, which I always do. <laughs> um, the first one is this Halloween Witch. Um, let me show you her. And I am coming at you tonight from my basement. I usually film um, from the dining room, but um, I'm in the basement because I have some a lot of work going on down here tonight. But let me show you. The first thing I got is this uh, really cute witch. She came from the Art Thrift Store. And she was $5.99, marked $5.99. I might have paid $3 for her. I might have got her half price. I just can't remember because it's been a while since I got her. Um, but she's really cute. She's hanging. She's got like um, this really cute face, um, hat with a cool little feather on it. Her hands and face and feet. And look at her cute little shoes. There's some, they almost feel like a wood almost between a ceramic and a wood. I'm not totally sure what she's made of. She's riding on a broom, but she's like one of the sweetest, cutest little witches I've ever seen. She's got that really big nose. Um, but I love her. I thrifted her quite some time ago, um, and I've looked in her clothes and everywhere. I don't know where she came from originally. I can't find anything anything about her. Uh, I just thought she was adorable. For three, and if not three, what was that? Six bucks. I had to have her. Um, really loved her. This towel that's hanging here is not vintage. Uh, I thrifted it. It's um, kind of an inexpensive, thin, like tea towel. Um, but it's really big, and I won't really use that, so I'm going to... But I just stuck it up here because I'm going to actually turn that into a pillow. But I thought it was really cute with the haunted house and the purple bats. Home sweet haunted home. So that'll be a pillow that I'll that I'll make. Um, now the rest of the stuff I think is mostly sort of fall sort of items I got. Um, I have a couple cards that I got. I had bought one time this huge box of, of vintage cards. And I never really showed all the different cards in it. Well, I picked out a few that were kind of fall related. This one was really cute. It's, it's actually a postcard with some mushrooms on it. It's blank on the inside, but you write in it, and then you turn it over, and you just stick the stamp on it. There's a couple of those I thought were really cute to share with people, um, or craft with. This one was a Thanksgiving card that wasn't used. I just thought it was really cute. Uh, little chipmunks, and I guess that's chipmunks and maybe mice. Um, it's probably not old. It's just a Hallmark card, but, um, yeah, I got this huge, huge box, and I think I paid a dollar at a yard sale. And I, I'm just, I ne I'll never have to buy another card again. <clears throat> I threw this one in because I thought it was kind of scary, kind of Halloween-like. He kind of favors her, sort of. Um, but I think, and uh, no, it's not blank inside. It just says, your place or mine. So I thought that was kind of neat. Not sure what I'll do with that one. And then just another... Happy Thanksgiving, which is no big deal, but yeah, I'll never have to buy another card again, I don't think. I got this uh, dresser scarf at uh, a yard sale, I believe, for like 50 cents, and it's got the same thing on both sides, but I'll just show you one side. I just love this really pretty deer. Um, to me, I think of deer in the fall, um, but it's so pretty. She almost, she has red on her nose, almost kind of like Rudolph, but that's, she's definitely a girl, um, but I just thought that was really pretty. I love when people do this kind of stuff, and I love to collect and keep these. I just never really know what to do with them. They end up just staying, staying in a drawer, but I love them. They're gorgeous. Um, that was a really pretty find. Um, I got this guy at a... I think it was an estate sale. Um, and, of course, it is a vintage ceramic piece. Well, I don't know how vintage it is, because it is not marked on the bottom. So I'm not sure when it was done, but it's a nice big piece. And um, he's sort of a chocolate brown color. And who can resist a chipmunk with turquoise eyeshadow? I just love this guy. He's, he sits in my sunroom um, almost all the time. I did list him on eBay, but um, I won't sell him. I love him. Um, and then these two quail back here. These are pieces that I found at an estate sale. 
and I don't remember what I paid, but um, my mom has done many, many sets of these quails in her lifetime. I just thought they were so pretty. They would be really pretty on a table for fall or even Thanksgiving, just the colors. Um, they are, they're a Holland mold, and they were done by VCW in 1969. They just need like a tiny little bit of touch up here and there, like right here. Um, and I just thought those were so pretty and just done so well I could not resist those. I don't remember paying much for them either. These two little guys right here, <laughs> I got, I'm not going to tell you where, but I was at a store and they had some broken um, pumpkins. The um, stems broke off and they were going to throw them away. So I, they said I could have them. So I'm going to do a couple of fabric pumpkins and that's going to be the stems. Um, I just thought, you can't throw them away. They're awesome. Um, this right here is a ceramic piece I got from Goodwill. It's one of those, uh, what do you call these things? I can't think of what they're called, <laughs> but maybe you know. Let me know. I'm going blank. Um, let's see. Yeah, it was from Goodwill. to paid $5.99 or maybe half of that. I'm not sure. And that, um, looks like HA029. I guess that's the person that made it. Um, gosh, I wish I could remember what the name of this is. But anyway, I'm not sure. I haven't used it yet, but it was really pretty. Another piece that's done really good. I'm just not sure. I don't really have a space for that big of one. But I did get some little pumpkins and, um, gourds and things out of a bag from the, the last video, video I did, the... Uh, Halloween that I showed the bag of the die cut pumpkins <clears throat> in that bag was also a, a little bag of um, things that can actually go in there but I probably will need more because that's so big but I'm not sure if I'll use it or not but I thought it was just a really pretty piece this um, backdrop here this was I found this and this is just some kind of like a really heavy almost like a really heavy cardboard but this piece was, it's a painting someone did um, at a garage sale. I paid a quarter for it. And I just saw, it's a square, and I'm not sure how big. But it is, I thought it was so pretty. It's a hawk, like he's landing um, for 25 cents. I just love the color, the gray-brown and the black. I actually have, I have this hanging in my basement, and it looks really pretty. Um... But yeah, for 25 cents I got that, and I just love that it. it just kind of looks fallish to me, too. This little guy right here, um, let's see if I can turn the light off and you can see her better. I have shown her before. You can't really see her, but she is a vintage um, bubble light, and she is finally starting to bubble. He wants, when you plug them in, it takes them a while to get warm and bubble, but she's a witch. I got her in a, um, at an estate sale. Uh, quite some time ago, and I sh I've shown her before. I got her and about seven or eight other ones, all like different seasons. I have a Santa, I have a Christmas one. Anyway, I paid two dollars for maybe 12 of them, and I sold probably eight or nine for like 15 dollars a piece. But I saved her because I love her, and I saved a Christmas one, and I don't remember if that's all I saved, but um, yeah, I just thought she was so cool. Let me see if I can. So you can see she's green when she's turned off. She actually looks orange when she's on, but she's got a green face, which to me all witches should have a green face. Whoops. Um Oh, I can't remember. It's hard to read that. But anyway, the lady that I got them from was the um daughter of the lady that they belonged to. And the daughter was like in her early 70s and she said her mother had been buying them for years and had and bought one for every occasion and she she did all she had a lot <laughs> and I think they had more that she had kept or that the daughter kept and, and these are the ones she was selling so anyway that was a cool I love that that was a cool find um one more thing I'm going to show you I'll have to make some room and I've shown this before too I before too I just thought it was so cool that I wanted to show it again um because I showed it years ago and there's probably many viewers that haven't seen it yet but this was a hallmark um little thanksgiving it's almost like a huge card that like a pop-up 
um, but it's, it was Hallmark. I can't remember what it was dated, but um, and it it folds flat. But this one I've got to do some work with because it has. If you see, there's some pieces that are like messed up. I've got to fix it. But it is like a Thanksgiving dinner um, with the pilgrims and the Indians, and I just thought it was so cute. I've just got to like fix it. So, but look at the little. I guess the little house. There's people in there. There's people outside at the table with their food and the trees. I, re I love this, like, maple-looking tree. Um, this was so cool, though. Let me see if I can find the date. <clears throat> I know it was Hallmark, but... Okay, I remember when I got it, I Googled it and found one on eBay that was brand new. Like, it was like Hallmark had... Um, Get, sent them to the Hallmark stores and they were like displays if I'm remembering this correctly and someone had a display that was new in the package just like this for and they were selling it for like 40 40 to 50 dollars um and that's actually where I found out my information on it I just don't remember what year but I'm not selling it <laughs> plus I mean mine needs some work but it is so it's just so cool it's so different I, I don't really have any kind of piece that's like that but I loved that um I just threw this in the hall because it's orange, and I was at a I was at a yard sale and I saw this little car in a box of kid toys, and it is actually dated 1969 Matchbox. I got it because my very first car was almost this color. <laughs> my very first car was not a hatchback, and it was a two door, but it was a Ford 1974 Ford Mustang, and it was almost this color orange. And back then, when I was like 17, I, I was like. Oh my God, this car is horrible. <laughs> but now I wish I had it. It was, looking back, I wish I had it now. But I just grabbed that for, I think, for a dime from a yard sale from a guy. Just because it reminded me of my car. And I just thought I'd throw it in because it's orange. But my favorite item, well, let me show you this little guy first. This is just a Hobby Lobby candle. But I just loved him. I got him at a yard sale. I think it was probably a quarter. Um, I thought it was a really cute little, I love the teal and the pink. The two shades of pink. Um, I just thought he was so cute. But this is my favorite little guy. Um, I've shown him before, but I love him. I'll show him every uh, fall haul. <laughs> he is, um, and if you remember my last video, I showed my um, my pump or my jack o' lantern vintage uh, light, um, ceramic light. This is what he reminds me of, and I didn't say it in the video because I, I I I taped that video like three times and had to do it re, re, redo it. But that other pumpkin look reminded me of this because he looks like a scarecrow, but like this guy. Look at his cute little legs. He's one of the little um, it's like the little elf elf knee huggers, but he's a little scarecrow pumpkin. He's got this cute little black cat on the back of his hat. He doesn't have any tag or anything um he did have a little rip right here but look at that face oh my god i was so excited when i found this i can't even remember now where i found it it was either an estate sale or a yard sale i'm pretty sure it was an estate sale um and i didn't pay much but is he not the sweetest cutest little guy ever oh my god i love this little guy so he'll be out for all of october and all of november for um you know for halloween and then for fall and I just recently thrifted a little green Melmac um, gravy boat a few videos back. I got it for him. I'm going to somehow make him a little, that's going to be what he's going to sit in. And I might add a few other little things. I don't know. We'll see if I do it. But I just, I love that little face. He is so sweet. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I'm filming this at like 2 in the morning before I'm fixing to get on a plane at 7 in the morning to go to Georgia to visit my mom who's had some health issues and her birthday is this weekend so I thought I am going to check on her and to spend a few days with her but it's so sweet I just before I filmed this video I was watching um Superior Girl Vintage her last video and she showed her cute little mom thrifting with her and it she just kept showing her little mom and had it written across the screen it was so cute it just it, it just warmed my heart um but anyway, because that's where I'm going tomorrow. So um, I'm actually filming this quite a few days before it'll actually upload. But um, thanks again, Alex, for hosting this. It was really fun. Um, it was, it's just hard to find 
of fall items and especially vintage fall items so um but it's a challenge and it was fun and i really enjoyed it thanks for doing that um hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give me a like give me a comment tell me what you like the most share subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching have a great day